Egypt. The land of pyramids and great heritage is once again rising to face yet another challenge. Viral hepatitis is one of the world's most pressing health problems, causing acute and chronic liver disease, killing close to 1.5 million people worldwide every year. Egypt has one of the highest global burdens of hepatitis C virus infections. It is estimated that 7% of the population between 15 and 59 years are chronically infected. Unfortunately, 150,000 new persons are believed to be infected annually, and tens of thousands die every year. In 2006, the Ministry of Health established a national committee for the control of viral hepatitis. The committee adopted the first national strategy for control of viral hepatitis in Egypt and established a nationwide treatment program. In 2014, the Ministry of Health launched the Plan of Action for the Prevention, Care and Treatment of Viral Hepatitis in collaboration with key national and international stakeholders, including the World Health Organization, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, and Pasteur Institute. The plan focuses on the seven main components of viral hepatitis prevention and control, surveillance, infection prevention and control, blood safety, hepatitis B vaccination, care and treatment, communication and research. The national plan, which we launched along with the introduction of the new treatment on 16th of October 2014, highlights the important goals of the Ministry's viral hepatitis program and reflects the country's continuous commitment to controlling this epidemic by making the effective treatment available and preventing new infections. The new Safosbavir drug is the first highly effective and approved direct-acting antiviral agent for nationwide treatment of hepatitis C virus infection. This medication is safer than old treatments, and in combination with other drugs, it has been shown to cure more than 90% of those completing the treatment. In a global first, the drug has been made available to Egyptian patients for 900 US dollars, which is 1% of its international price. The ministry will be introducing other approved and highly effective medications consecutively, in addition to encouraging the local manufacturers to produce pre-qualified generic versions to effectively implement the elimination program in the shortest time possible. Before introducing the new treatment, the National Committee for the Control of Viral Hepatitis, which is part of the Ministry of Health, established a web-based registration system to schedule patients' appointments to receive treatment. By mid-2015, almost one million patients with known hepatitis C virus infection have registered and are being evaluated by experts at more than 50 treatment centers for eligibility to receive the new medicine, according to national guidelines. It is anticipated that 150,000 people will be treated by the end of 2015 and 300,000 additional patients by the end of 2016. Treatment is only half the story. An enormous effort is also being made in prevention. The World Health Organization supports Egypt in all aspects of hepatitis control, both in treatment and in particular prevention. WHO provides support and immunization communication and blood safety standards and training. In addition, Egypt has been selected as one of the three pilot countries for the new WHO Global Injection Safety Campaign. This campaign aims to reduce unnecessary injections and transition to the exclusive use of syringes that can only be used once. Egypt has plans to manufacture these new syringes which will gradually replace traditional ones in the healthcare system. This will greatly help to reduce the number of hepatitis C virus infection occurring in health centers. WHO and CDC are also supporting other prevention interventions, including a national media campaign. With the vision of eliminating viral hepatitis in mind, Egypt is planning to pilot an elimination model in Aswan Governorate in Upper Egypt. The model will include all components of prevention, care and treatment. 
Egyptians have shown in recent years that they can change the course of history. In collaboration with committed stakeholders, the country can and will overcome the viral hepatitis C challenge as well.